I gotta say, time, time. You're not lying, bro. You're not, you're not, you're not, you're not lying. Well, I let's jump right it. into it. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Think my hands a it. lot of you are talking about Mr. Chime Time. Rashad Mormon has been going all over Detroit, sampling the best and maybe some of the worst that the city has to offer. We are so happy to have you in. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Thanks you for having me. have yeah, been in man. Detroit uh, almost two months now. The longest I've ever been in any city. Many are asking, why are you here? So I love it here. Like the people here. Everything is within close proximity. I'm starting to find a lot of good food spots now. So I probably would have been gone longer ago, well, earlier. But what happened was a lot of people that aren't from here started recommending places. And uh, obviously, I got the bad end of the stick by going to the bad places at first. So, right, right. So I had to extend my stay and go to some of the places that are popularly known. And that's what happened. Can I back up for a second? Please do. What is, where, Mr. Chime Time, what does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> so, uh, so back in the earlier days, I used to post like controversial questions uh -huh. to get everybody to chime in on these questions, and uh, they was like, "Well, you should do chime time." I'm like, "Okay, well, I, I guess." And I adopted the name. Um, now I own rights to the name. Nice. And yeah, that's, we're gonna handle it. Nice. That's what I'm business. talking about. Um, we're gonna hear a little bit of what you had to say, but first, uh, I'm just so curious. How how does it work? So you go from city to city, and mm -hmm. you're doing this by yourself? Yeah, I'm doing this by myself. So I fly to a city every month mm -hmm. for probably about. Well, I can't tell you as long, because then people start scoping out. Right, right, right. <laughs> but I'll, I'll fly to a city for a certain amount of time. I do a bunch of reviews, and then I'll fly back home. I do this every month, and I. Money come out of my own pocket. I don't pay. Well, I pay for everything. Mm -hmm. I don't charge anything. So right. It's just an opinion. And, yeah. and I'm a movie reviewer. Been a movie critic for a long time, man. Uh, you're honest in your opinion, right? Little, I mean, a little, you, a little too no, honest none of them are paying you. Nobody asked no. you to show up. What no. got you starting to do this? Because you step into opinion stuff. People come, man. Yeah, yeah. That, it, it, it's definitely uh, when you have an opinion, a strong opinion like mine's, mm -hmm. it's definitely um, it's a benefit to it. Mm -hmm. Then there's consequences, obviously, because people, yeah. some people like it, some people don't. And so. you're honest. Very. We're gonna All get right. just a little sample of that All honesty right. right now. Here are some of the bad reviews that you've given in the city. Uh, what's this? Oh, steak bite platter. Steak. <laughs> Tastes like some 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 leather leather shoe bites. This ain't nothing but jail food, bro. Fried chicken. Nope. I don't understand why restaurants down here insist on on serving bull I want to call this gravy, but oh, hell no. This right here was not made today. Spaghetti. Bro, everything here oh is, is, oh, is garbage. Man. Time, time. I've got to tell Woo! you, man. It's it's entertaining. It is entertaining. Yeah. I appreciate that. But your uh, your existence is on social media, uh -huh. and people are like you, very honest on social media. Uh -huh. When you get these bad reactions, and some of them are warranted because you come at right. restaurants and you're right. dealing with someone's business. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Because it could change their business traje trajectory. Right, right. I'll be honest with you. I do lose sleep over it giving bad reviews because I don't want to do it. But at the same time, if you don't if you don't care about giving me bad food, I'm not going to care when I grade you. Right. You understand know what I'm saying? Yeah, so right. If you give me leather shoe bites, <laughs> leather wallet bites, yeah. you, know, yeah. uh, you know, then I'm not going to care when I get in front of that camera and light it up. You know yeah. what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah. that's just how I feel about People it. People say you target particular businesses. That's do what you? I was going to ask. There's been a little bit of yeah. criticism mm -hmm. saying, nah. okay, we have this guy. He's coming into yeah. a predominantly black city targeting mm -hmm. black businesses. Mm -hmm. But you don't see it that way. That's far from the truth. I do black, white, pink, yellow, orange, blue, Lebanese, red, gray. I saw you doing it. Yeah. Whoever. You yeah. know, if you're breathing, if you're living, and you have a restaurant, then when I come to your city, I might be there. We have one sure. more video to show you. Check this out. <laughs> This is a raspberry filled donut. Mm. Ooh, that's good. Mm. Dang. First, we're gonna try a chicken donut. Yo, this thing is huge. Oh my god. Ooh, wee. Next, we have a donor burger. Mm. I like how you went with this. Ooh, that's spicy. So, for one, part of my language, but this. It's spicy. And what's unique about this is they actually add Doritos. It looks like Cool Ranch. Man, I tell you what, man. <laughs> All right, you walked in here smooth. Yeah. <laughs> got the boots on. Glasses on. You got, you got 
and for people who don't know, you gotta be what six feet tall, yeah, yeah, deep six. voice. Doing people your thing. think I'm short, right? Because you're always sitting in the car. In the car. Yeah. But you, 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 you're a big brother. Uh, talk, let's talk about this, man. How do you stay so thin? Because you eat a bunch of food. That question I, I, right so, there. No, that, that that's a great question. So I work out around the clock. So I wake up. Every day, roughly about three to four o'clock in the morning, I edit to about five or six. Go to the, uh, I go to the gym, work out. Then I'll come back home, take a shower, eat all day, edit, <laughs> eat go all to the gym. Day. Yeah, you can't go to the gym. So yeah, and I drink a gallon water a day too. So right. we do <laughs> want uh, to let the viewers chime in on this as well. So we do have a little poll. We're popping this up right now. Do food critics on social media influence your decision on where you eat while they vote? I yeah. want to know what's Good next question. for you. I, I've been in the comments. There's some speculation. Yeah. You might have been looking for a place to live here. Yes. You like Detroit like that? You want to move here? I love Detroit. Go ahead. Really? Go ahead, try, really? Breaking news. Good place to base, man. Hey. It's crazy because, like, back in North Carolina, and I can speak for myself, like, like Detroit gets a bad rap. Mm -hmm. A very bad rap. Yeah. So actually being here and being immersed in the culture, it's not as bad as they say it is. Right. I mean, it's, it's not bad. <laughs> it's, exactly. just, it's just the city. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I mean, and like the crime that happens everywhere. Yeah, not just in Detroit. Yeah. So, but people give. Man, my family was really scared for me coming up. Ooh, <laughs> so you gonna be okay? Any particular <laughs> shout outs? Any places that stand out to you that we need to go try? That are some of your favorites? Uh, what's the deal for sure? Uh, Donut Cutter, uh, Sister Roll Eats. Um, I do think you guys should try out the bad one, Sweetwater Tavern. I think yeah. you guys should try out Cuzzo's. Try those out too. Man, yeah, yeah try out all those places. Now, the Kool Aid is, I mean, it's, it's very sweet. It's expensive, but it's quite delicious. Yeah. Kool Aid, no. yeah. The price and the quality isn't really matching, mm. but I, okay. I think you guys should check those out. All right, out. I got to ask you one big question. This is a big, broad question. Mm -hmm. um, it's like when someone would ask for a date with my daughter. You come in the city. What What are your intentions with all of this? Where would you like for it to go? Because I can see, man, you can do a GQ cover to me. Yeah, you got the I voice. You got that. everything. <laughs> where, where, is the, where is all this leading, man? Um, so I, I, hopefully one day I can be on TV. You know, you this are. is my first time actually being on TV. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah, first nice. time. Right. Yeah, so hopefully one day I can have a, a mini talk show to where I can kind of interview celebrities, interview nice. people over food, and hopefully one day just... Taking in that well, direction. We certainly love your style. Yeah. A lot of personality. Money, Are man. you surprised at how big this has gotten? I saw one of your videos had seven million views. Yeah. From uh, Detroit. Uh, yes, because I I was battling on not getting on TikTok about a year and a half ago. Wow. I didn't want to, so when I got on it, stuff started picking up, and mm -hmm. um, man, God is good. That's All the what I can say. Is so. this your full time job? It is full time. Yeah, that's a good question. A lot of people think I have another job. They're like, what? Yeah. Why don't you go back to your job? Well, this is my job. You wow. Know? Well, because you're sitting in your car. It looks like you're on the way to work time. when you eat. Yeah. 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 So you found a way. I mean, so you're monetizing then off of TikTok. Well, not brand with, deals. Or? I get a whole lot of brand deals. Nice. Yeah. Wow. From like you know Grubhub, DoorDash. All the, and what all is your background? How did you learn how to navigate that? Because it's relatively new. Um, honestly, I'm still learning. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm still learning. I mean, I get a lot of brand deals all the time, and I'm still reading through contracts and stuff like that. I just recently hired a, um, a manager to help me out with that. Good, man. Good for yeah. you. Yeah, so. What's your family think about all this? They're just... You be careful, Rashad. They were mad. <laughs> <laughs> they were about be my careful. safety, seriously. Yeah, yeah. man, you yeah, got safety, to. Yeah. Mom and them are right. Mom, yeah, they were about my safety. This is sure. Detroit? But dude, this is Detroit. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's get over <laughs> yeah. this to me real quick. Uh, about 70 30, do you feel influenced, right, influenced by, by social media? By social media. Uh, the people say yes, wow. by and large. So you have a voice. Well, that's great. We're Thank so you. happy to you, man. man. <laughs> we appreciate you coming in. Man. Mr. Chime Time, Great his job, first in studio job, interview. Man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks so much. All right. We want to hear your comments on today's show, of course.